everyone, you're welcome to Otis Culture. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing us on how to draft fashionable neckline. Before we move on, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please take a few seconds to hit the red button down below to subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Without further ado, let's move right to the tutorial. The first neckline design that I'll be showing us is the sweetheart design this is my shoulder measurement the first thing you are going to do is to determine the measurement you want to use for your neck width you can use between 4 4.5 or 5 inches for your neck width i'll be using 5 inches for the neck width depth of six and a half inches The next thing to do is to draw your box shape. Then, this is the neck width. This is the neck depth. At the neck width, you will measure down 3 inches. From the 3 inches, you will connect to the neck depth with a curve. just like this let's cut it out and see the outcome of this neckline we are cutting it out like this This is the outcome of the neckline. This is called a sweet art neckline. Let's move to the second neckline for sweet art neckline. Neck width of four and a half inches. Neck depth of six inches. Then you draw your box shape. This is the neck width. This is the neck depth. From the neck width, I'll measure down three inches. I'll take my ruler, I'll draw a slanted shape from the three inches to the neck depth. Let's cut it out and see the outcome of the neckline.
this is the outcome of the neckline it is similar to the first one the only difference is that this one is slanted while the first one is curved this is curved while this is slanted but they are both called sweetheart neckline the next neckline that i'll be showing us i don't really know the name but it is also a trending and fashionable neckline the very first thing you would do is to determine the neck width you want to use again this is the shoulder line on the shoulder line you will measure your neck width I'll be using neck width of 4 inches for this. I'll flip my paper to the other side and also measure 4 inches. Then I'll open it up. This crease here will serve as the midpoint. Then, on one side of the neck, I'll measure down my neck depth. I'll be using 7 inches for the neck depth. Then, I'll draw a straight line from the neck width to the neck depth. Just like so then I'll connect from this neck width I'll connect it with a curve to join with the neck depth just like so Let's cut it out and see the outcome of the neckline. If you are cutting, you will cut it out like this. outcome of the neckline this is also very nice and beautiful I absolutely love this particular neckline if you know the name of this neckline please comment down in the comment section let's move over to the Next neckline tutorial that I'll be showing us. I'll put this aside. Again, this is the shoulder measurement. You determine your neck width. I'll be using 4.5 inches. For this neck width, you can make use of any neck width of your choice. 
it can be three and a half, it can be four inches, 4.5 or five inches, or even six inches, depending on your preference. For the neck depth, I'll be making use of two measurements, three inches and seven inches. The next thing I'm going to do is to connect from the neck width to the neck depth with a curve. Just like this, then I'll connect Let me join the dots together. Let's cut it out and see the outcome of the neckline Wow, this is outcome of the neckline. This is also beautiful. I absolutely love this as well. For the last neckline that I'll be showing us, again, on the shoulder line, you'll be inserting your neck width. I'll be making use of neck width of 4.5 inches neck depth of neck depth of six inches i'll be drawing the box shape Next thing to do is to draw a triangle like this. Let's cut it out and see the outcome of the neckline. Outcome of it. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. This is the outcome of the neckline. 
We've come to an end of today's tutorial. If you find my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up, share my video, and also subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. Follow me on Instagram at Otis Culture and join other like-minded fashion designer on our Facebook group, Seamstress Zone. Until I come your way next, please stay safe and keep winning. Bye.